In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply distortions to text or objects using the program. Now, we provide you with a lot of sample files with Vinyl Master, and if you click on the Open button up here and go to your Samples folder in the Vinyl Master Pro folder, you'll see distortions.v. Click on that and go Open, and we'll just maximize that window by double clicking on the title bar. You can see here there's some uh, live uh, and interactive distortions. None of these are contrived or made up. They're just made in the program as normal. They're not. Uh, there's no tricks with any of these. And you can actually edit these live. So if you click on the node edit tool up here, you'll see that all the nodes come up as so, and you can edit the uh, edit the distortions and see how they work. But what I'll show you is how to make a distortion from scratch. So if we scroll over here to the left. And we'll, uh, that flag effect's a good idea to start off with. So I'll type in um, uh, flag effect, and we'll uh, we'll make that capital letters. So we'll go because it's text. We can come up to the second row of tools here in Vinyl Master Pro. The second row of tools is context sensitive. It changes depending on what mode and what you've got selected. So we'll click on this drop down here, and we'll go uppercase, and we've got flag effect. Now, depending on what text you use, different effects look better. So I'll just make that impact because impacts really clearly shows you that effect, and I'll make that a little bit bigger. Uh, and we'll zoom in on it a bit. Now, to apply a distortion to this piece of text here, if we come over to the left, and you'll see this button here, distortions. So if we click on that fly out, we'll see a whole range of distortions that are available to us. As so. Now the one we're looking for is flag, which is down here in this corner. So we'll click on that. When we do that, you'll see all these nodes come up in the corners here like this and throughout the distortion effect. So what we can do here is while we're in node edit mode and we've got our distortion selected, we can come in here and we can start fiddling around and playing around with this no or with these nodes and before we know it we can create a flag look as so as you can see flag effect now I can come back and I can say change the color of that I can zoom back out a little bit and we can see our distortion flowing through like that the great thing with Vinyl Master is you can apply distortions to distortions there's no limit into doing that so if I go back over here to our distortions fly out and click on that and in this case I might want to actually uh, put a 3D uh, distortion over this flag effect. So I click on 3D and you'll see that we now get these nodes. So each distortion has its own set of nodes which are relevant to that particular distortion. Okay, So here on node 4 I might bring it out like that and like that to get my flag effect. Or conversely I might do it the opposite way like this which will uh, we've seen with um, some different companies they have a flag effect that looks something like this uh, like that and they put a pole down there and you get this flag effect so it's like the flag is flapping in the breeze and you've got this flag effect so applying distortions is really quite easy uh, and you can apply distortions upon distortions and keep going now some distortions ha also have extra tools if I go to envelope here which is a powerful distortion this, this distortion does a lot of things um, and creates many many different effects as you can see here. You also have some presets here up in the second row of tools. You can reset your distortion. You can convert it to curves if you like. So once you've finished distorting it and you just want to flatten it to some curves, just click on this button here and it converts it to curves. We've also got sizing and positioning tools if we want to use those there. And if you if you open up this job over here and slide down here, you can zoom into some of these distortions here just to get a feel for how they work. Uh, go to the node edit mode up here, click on these distortions and edit and play around with them and you'll see quite quickly how easily they are to use. Uh, this one here will is the cylinder and I can drag that out there like that as you can see. If I bring that to the front, not oh, sorry to the front, not to the back, I can then, you know, do all sorts of manner of distortions and warps and uh, make things look quite different. So this is actually fish. This is a real live distortion. Node edit mode and as you can see I can move this stuff around and edit this distortion as I like. The thing with distortions too is you can actually apply other effects to them. I mean this tube here I could actually for example, I'll just zoom out a little bit, 
I could actually go over to the uh, preset effects here or I could any of these here I could go highlights and as you can see what's happened here is I've applied a shading effect to this tube here and I could also bring up the shading effects editor and you know increase the gloss and say a little bit of the um, the highlight strength and you know make it a bit brighter as so and put that away and as you can see I've now applied that to the distortion okay so these are the sorts of things you can do in Vinyl Master they're very easy um, and as always you can experiment with these tools and if you if you make a mistake just use the undo tools and that's the end of this lesson